The 1950s is a decade known for its schlocky giant monster movies. Everything from praying mantises to giant crystals have been blown up in size and set loose on an unsuspecting town or city. Some of these movies and these creatures, like the movie Them and its giant ants, are classic pieces of science fiction. Others, like this movie, not so much. The giant Gila monster from 1959 is mostly unwatchable, with a reptilian antagonist making only brief scattered appearances. It was filmed as a double feature with the far superior movie The Killer Shrews, which, while enjoyable, lacks any reptiles, of course. Chase Winstead is our hero in this picture, played by Don Sullivan. He's a mechanic with a passion for hot rods and racing. He's helping the local sheriff, played by Fred Graham, in the investigation of a car accident instigated by the Gila monster himself. Eventually, the lizard attacks a train, and then a community dance hall. But before it does, we have a lot of nothing happening. For some reason, there's great difficulty in tracking down a 70-foot lizard in a mostly featureless Texas landscape. But while we wait for the climactic finale of our movie, we're treated to a lot of uninteresting filler that only serves to extend the movie's one hour and 13 minute runtime. And if you can manage to watch this movie without Chase's mushroom song or Baby She Rocks getting stuck in your head, then consider yourself fortunate. The special effects consist of an actual Mexican beaded lizard, not a Gila monster, and some miniatures for it to stomp through. No doubt many of us reptile keepers have had the same dream of letting our pet lizards run through a tiny town. This is a hard movie to recommend unless you're really into the black and white monster movie genre, and chances are you'll fall asleep while watching it. For that reason, I highly recommend watching the MST3K version instead. The original version is easy enough to track down though, directly on YouTube.